Hello, today guys we're going to be tying uh, all of Dom's little nymph. So first we're going to get your size 10, yep, be it for the lure dog, Amazon. There. Do that in the face and then I was usually, we'll be using for the body and tail, we'll be using all of Marby Center. Um, this is to get the fur. And um, I, I will be using damsel eyes as well for the weighted head. So just going to start off here. Down a little bit. And back up. Touch and turns. Just down a wee bit. Do a bit here on the hook. Back up. Cut it off. And you get your damsel lace. Just that. Tie down. Figure of it, they got. So it chips like. So it's just like that in the face. Oh, on the hook. And then just in behind. Touch and turn to hold it in the body. Lovely bump, right down to the bar. And I would usually just turn the dandelions under the bottom. So, what, what if it was like that on top of the hook? The fly would be coming like that through the water. If, it, if these were down here, the fly would be coming through like that. Or when you have it like that, it comes through the weight is at the bottom, so it'll come through the, the hook, come through the water like that. Once well, it's on the top, it'll flip the fly over, so it's that closest to the bottom. I'm gonna get a good piece of marble, that's a fluffy piece. And this is actually medium olive, I usually use the golden olive but today well, I'm not going to be using it because the golden olive isn't really working that well so um yeah so I'm going to try what, medium olive for rainbow trout had a few brownies and damsels that I like but That's it. That was in there. That was in like a different lake. Oh, that's name. This called Kern Farm in Queen County, Antrim, over in Northern Ireland. And I, I'm a member at Woodford Fly Fishery. And you should visit that there sometime. It's there's nice big fish in it. So there's that's stocked regularly. Biggest, ever, biggest fish that's ever been caught on it was like seventeen pounds or something like that. So it was all right. The biggest I've caught of it out of it was a nine pound eight ounce trout. So that was all right. Just saw a couple tail there, so it's like that. It's bushy. Then I would usually give it one turn in behind her, so it sets it sit up. And this fly will actually have loads of movement in the water. And I have been using a yeah, blue Lurex, you call it? Lurex. No, this is different. This is blue holographic made by UTC. I use UTC a lot as well. Um, I forgot to mention what thread we're using. We're using a 
UTC and Sandy and all and my last video was crap like but because <laughs> it was my first ever flight hand video but I've got all I've got a new camera and a stand and all this time but I'm not using my new camera I'll just use my phone today and if the music's too loud in the background, just leave a comment, so I'll adjust that for next video. I thought I'd just play music in the background so you can hear my noisy wee sister and her friends in the house. So I'm wasting your fingers to pluck some Marbury off, off the feller and dub it on, just moisten your fingers as well. Whatever you want to be done, push your fingers off. This is the same marbles we're using for the tail. I just, just dub it on there, push it up. Yes. One, two, three. You don't want your damsels too thin, you don't want them too thick. Because damsel nymphs aren't that thick and they're that skinny either. And there's a lot of fly life over in Woodford Fletcher as well and current form. The buzzers are good and the nymphs are good for Woodford. So it also lures like, but. I would usually use the nymphs, the like dandle nymphs and, and the buzzers. I would usually just spend most of my day walking around the edges, stalking through. There's a lot of plant 